So now in this video we're going to make a uh, light meter, a makeshift light meter, using a photodiode. That's the main component we're focusing on in this video. So we have uh, 5 volts powering the breadboard right there and you can see as I block the uh, photodiode the voltage goes down right there. So in series with the photodiode is a 1000 ohm resistor. There's also a capacitor to smooth out this voltage. We'll talk about that why coming up in a little bit. But in any case the current has to go through the photodiode and then the 1000 ohm resistor. So for every milliamp of current that flows because the photodiode has more and more light on it for each uh, milliamp it'll go up uh, one volt right there because we're measuring the voltage across the capacitor. And uh, I'm going to uh, turn the lamp up to its brightest setting and there you can see it's about uh, two and a half volts uh, probably right there. But the uh, power supply is only showing one milliamp of current and so if we measured the current with the multimeter it would be more accurate that's probably not accurate that's probably a lot more accurate that's a uh, testing we could do for another video but in uh, any case there you can see that uh, we have about uh, two and a half volts right there at this light level and uh, to get even brighter I'll grab my headlamp and try not to uh, wash out the screen there but there you can see as I get more light on it with the headlamp we get closer to that 5 volt right there and uh, 5 milliamps is the most that would go through this circuit because we have 5 volts a 1000 ohm resistor it's going to set a limit of uh, 5 milliamps so we uh, got uh, really close to that limit there and now we'll take a closer look at the uh, circuit so we have the oscilloscope there that's the alligator clips I just clip into these uh, jumpers so I can uh, plug them into the board really easy and that's measuring the voltage across the resistor as we've said before 1000 ohm resistor so we'll uh, not worry about the capacitor yet that's the anode the long lead of the uh, photo dialed right there I short circuited it probably and uh, the uh, short lead the cathode up there comes to the uh, positive supply so it is reverse biased photo dialed when you are using it uh, like this and uh, parallel to the uh, photo diode because the light above us is flickering on and off so we would get a varying voltage as I'll show before. The uh, capacitor smooths that out. That's a 0.47 microfarad uh, capacitor, half of a uh, farad. And uh, so I will uh, pluck that out and we'll see the uh, voltage difference. And uh, I wasn't facing the uh, lamp there. So the uh, voltage is really low. But uh, in any case, about zero. I turned it up. There you can see how much that voltage is bouncing around so the capacitor will average out that voltage and we'll see a smooth uh, voltage as we saw before. So now I decided we will actually measure uh, the current and look at the voltage at the same time. So we have here a, a gap now that I put in there so there's no voltage on there. There's no current flowing and uh, when I uh, connect this you can see we got about 2.7 uh, volts approximately and we're a little shy of 3 volts so actually you may not uh, really be able to see that so I'll zoom in and uh, do this again right there so whatever it is if we have 1 volt across the resistor we'll have 1 milliamp of uh, current uh, 2 volts across it we'll have 2 milliamps of current and so on pretty simple and to uh, end the video I did make a schematic diagram both for those who appreciate them and also to post to the uh, website. Now we have the uh, photo down up there, reverse bias, remember that, cathode more positive and a more negative when you want it to uh, set a current based on how much light is falling on it. So the uh, photo diode has arrows pointing in right there to indicate that light or something else is hitting it to adjust how much it conducts current. We have a 1000 ohm resistor here so it has a basic property uh, for every volt across it one milliamp of current will flow through it. That's basic Ohm's law. But uh, now we're setting the current. We're using a current source. And uh, so ultimately, the current that we set through it for every uh, milliamp flowing through it will get one volt. Pretty straightforward. This is an oscilloscope uh, symbol right there. And uh, that means we're taking a measurement with an oscilloscope at that point because oscilloscopes can measure voltage in one or both directions and uh, changing uh, rapidly on the screen. So. As we saw before, the light was uh, flashing on and off. We can't tell with our eyes, but it really messed with the voltage on display with the oscilloscope. We could look at that in more detail, but uh, in any case, it was just bouncing around based on the speed we had. So this is going to average out those voltages. Still, it's a 
relatively low value uh, capacitor there, 0.47 microfarad, but uh, it was enough to smooth it out. We got a uh, straight line and uh, that's all we needed and we wanted to change in real time when the light changed. So uh, we did get that. But in any case, as we saw before, dim light, we had a low voltage and a pretty bright light, we had a pretty high uh, voltage from a zero to a five volt, since we're using five volts at the supply. So I think this was a pretty good uh, DIY li uh, light meter for uh, this video at least. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post screen and check out the link down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.